got me a hat. <laughs> now, I've also got a toy, right? I've got a toy. Uh, yeah, bear me is on this. Because uh, this is the packaging that it came in. So, I bought myself one of these. Okay. Now, to be honest with you, I'm not really, I'm not really sure how your Chinese is there, but... Uh, and then there's the instructions on the back. So that's... Uh, that wasn't confusing at all, actually. What it is, is it is a portable welder slash solder iron. Okay? Now, actually, it did use his instructions and he used them by doing um, Google Translate. It is, oh, fuck. Have a shot at it, right? You get something in any language, okay? And what they do is use your Google Translate on top of it. It converts it in English. Ish. <laughs> anyway, so here's what I've got. Here's the tool itself. Oh, be better sideways probably so you get the look at it. And it this is ingenious, okay? So it fills in the bottom, okay? So basically, it's your butane gas that you get from uh, your, your cigarette lighters and things like that, okay? Now, that there, uh, you can see the, the edge there with a wee ratchety thing. That doesn't move, right? But what that does is it splays the fire out, okay? And it also it screws off. So if I can just show you, right? So you screw this bit off, right? Obviously, once it's cooled down, no when it's burning hot. Then you get this. And this tip just screws right on it. And now you've got an instant portable solar iron. Now, you're probably thinking, well, that looks crap. I thought so as well. Bear in mind, I love a bargain. This popped up on Amazon for, uh, it was 9 99 for a green one that you could see through, but they were selling this one that you can't see through, but if you shake it, you can feel there's gas in it. And I got this for 6 99 Now, this, <laughs> this is the bit that gets me, okay? So, um, this bit's a wee bit footery, for want of a better word, all right? But what you do is, so you, this black cap, you turn it on, right, and then you light it. Now, it might not light, so bear with us, right, so it didn't light. So I'll lift this up again and turn it, and now, oh, <laughs> how cool is that? And look, you can actually, ah, oh, oh, pull it out. Right. That's not quite a good one again. Then, like, ah. I make fire. <laughs> now, let's let's uh, turn you that way. Uh, oh, right. That's better. Now, so what I've got here is actually I'll switch this off just now. Right. So this was a project I had earlier on. Now, as you know, I've been doing a, a clock, okay? So, I need to get the clock, that bit, to fit into a bracket, which is that bit, right? Now, this is too small, but it's quite thick. So, I could actually thin this down a bit with my Dremel, right? And this is a bracket I've made for another clock, but this was the first attempt, and the first attempt actually... Uh, well, it failed, basically. So, I'll put that out of the road because it's no failure now. Now, so, here's my plan. That's a failure because I didn't get a back plate. And that's just going to go in the bin. So, it's a lot of PLE to throw away. I thought myself, 
Is there any chance you could actually melt this? And then stick that on there like that. Right? And then either screw a hole in or use a big washer for that there or screw that to the wall. And there's my bracket. So I've heated it up. Right? And look, so it went for that to kind of semi-flat. Oh, hang on, get it in the camera there. So, ah, to semi-flat. So, here's how we've done it. Right, start the Bunsen burner. Now, it doesn't need to be on big because uh, so there you go so I've got just a small flame on this right and I'll make it a bit of bollocks oh. now that's probably small enough all right you could probably see that right. and all you do is heat the PLA and then push down and heat the PLA and push down, right? Now, what I might try and do here actually is There you go, look at that Now bear in mind, this is a bracket so I'm, I'm not really needing to Now what we'll do is, so if I heat that, reheat that, and then I run a heat on the edge here, and then see if it'll just, see if it'll cure. turn it off, I lift it up and I put the thing around again so that it turns right off because if I don't I feel like I'm going to lose the gas now I'll not know until I go and look at this to see how it goes but there you go it's not fully bonded yet right? so to strengthen it actually now there you go, so there you are like, the top means no bad but the bottom means the bottom is coming. So I'm going to do a wee bit of work on this and I think I could actually heat this bit now onto here. So it'll actually strengthen it up at the side. Now bearing in mind, right, nobody's going to see this because it's at the back of the clock. So you think about it, but that goes on, right, and there's your clock, look. Doesn't matter how bad it looks, eh? So, there you go. I've made something out of a failure, and uh, but the main thing is, is I love my wee toy. So go and get yourself on your favourite shop. Go and see me get one of them. These are a must for everybody. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait to try this bit now, and I'm going to see if I can solder in the PLA edges. Well, what to lose it? Till the next time, all city. <laughs>